Hello, this is August from The Gaming Guys, and today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Minecraft mod, The Ether, on Mac for Minecraft version 1.7.3. Alright, so first, you're going to go to Google Chrome or any other web browser and search The Ether Minecraft. I'll have a link in the description too. And then on their page, go down to where it says either mod download or either mod download, I don't know. Click on that and it'll take you to this obnoxious website with a bunch of ads. You just have to wait a few seconds and click skip ad. And then click to download. And then now I'm gonna go back to the uh, forum page, scroll down to see where it says the either mod requires mod loader, audio mod, and shock AHPI. So I'm going to open those in different windows. And the mod loader and audio mod are on the same page. They're both part of Rizugami's mods. <laughs> um, so scroll down, and there's mod loader beta 1.7.3 and uh, audio mod. And then go to the Shaka's one and click show on shock AHPI and click download. It takes you to AdFly. Ooh, those look like nice drinks. Um, all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna open all four of these and close my program and then also I'm going to open a new finder window and now go to into your username <clears throat> go to library application support and then scroll down to minecraft so first I'm going to go into the bin folder go to your minecraft.jar file right click or control click on it and click compress minecraft.jar and then double click on that new zip file right and that will create a, a folder called minecraft2 so now I'm going to delete the old minecraft.jar and the .zip file and rename the new minecraft, minecraft2 folder to minecraft.jar and click enter and yes I want to add the extension. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to, here I'll install mod loader first. So for mod loader I'm just going to highlight all the files that are named class, which is all the ones that you're gonna get from the download. Copy them, and then paste them into my Minecraft.jar. Click apply to all and replace. All right, so we don't need that. Now I'm gonna go to the shock HPI. Click on the bin part of that. Highlight all of those files and copy and paste just like before and apply to all. Replace. <clears throat> and close that. Okay, so now these two are a little more complicated. First I'll do the audio mod, and that you have to do, see where it says IBXM on the mod? Okay, so I'm just gonna drag those from the IBXM into my Minecraft.jar, and then search Paul's code. Code. In my Minecraft.jar, and there it is. Double click that. Then go to sound and go to sound in your download. Go to codex and then go to codex in both of them. Then take this codec IBXM and put it in there. So, oh, and then go back to my jar, my main jar, and put in this yo.class and replace it. Okay. So that's it for those, the three extra mods. Now I just have to put in the ether. So for the ether, I'm gonna click on the jar part and highlight all these files and the folder at the top and drag them in and replace. And then go to my resources one and click on mod. And then I have these uh, six folders. And then in my Minecraft folder, I'm gonna go to resources and take these and put them in and replace. I already had them in here from previous install. So you probably won't need to replace when you do that. All right, so that's all you need to do to install the ether. Now I'll do a little test run. 
Let's just log in and go to single player. My either showcase file. All right, I'll make this full screen. Okay, so now I am in Minecraft. Oh, um, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'll skip ahead. I'm going to install um, too many items mod because that's really helpful for having the either. All right, so now I'm back in Minecraft with the too many items mod. So first, to make the either portal, um, I am going to give myself some glowstone and water. And find here. This is good. A little flat space. in the hole don't need to but you know two three four five so this is the same dimensions as you would build a nether portal except instead of glowstone you're using I mean instead of obsidian you're using glowstone and instead of lighting it on fire you're gonna put water inside all right so there I have a portal to the ether and I will take the portal And drink the ether. Apparently, wood is the most versatile sort resource in the game. I would have never have guessed. Oop, alright. So let's change my render distance. And now I am in the ether. Look at how amazing it is. You can't see a lot right now. It's not really loading, but the either is basically another world that's the opposite of the nether on top of your Minecraft world. There's like a whole new set of resources. As you can see the first item I got was a code book. Uh, the book of lore, and that I can um, discover items with. Here, if I get a little, what's it called, either dirt, and put it in my wonderful book of lore. It says, a, a paler dirt, either grass, and skyroot trees will grow on it. All right, so look at how beautiful the ether is. Stay tuned for a um, video that I will be coming out with uh, my first playthrough of the ether and showcasing all the amazing properties of it. So yeah, this has been August from The Gaming Guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.